O Canada Conversations are a creation of IOM, made available under the Creative Commons 3.0 IGO. Please refer to the text of the audiobook for the copyright mark and the full legal code. Funded by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Financé par Immigration, Refugees et Citoyenneté Canada. O Canada Conversations, Dialogue Number 25. Being a Student in Canada. The following dialogue is related to Unit 6, Education, from the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. For more information, refer to the following units of the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. 6.5. Being a student in Canada. 6.6. Bullying. In this dialogue, Obasi's son Michael and his friend Zahi meet up in Canada after being resettled. Zahi has started school, and Michael will soon start school. Michael asks Zahi what being a student in Canada is like and the differences between Canada and back home. Hey, long time no see, my friend. Yes, how long has it been now? At least three years. I did not think we would ever see each other again. Me neither. I cannot believe we are meeting for real in Canada. Yes, it feels surreal. I cannot believe that I am finally here after so long. When did you arrive? I arrived last month with my family. We are moving into our permanent housing in a couple of weeks. Ah, are you staying at the reception center down the street? Yeah, it has been all right. But I am excited to move into our own place. When we first arrived, we stayed there too. What about you? How long have you been in Canada? It has been almost two years now. How has it been? What is school like here? Now I like it, but it took some time to get used to it. Things are very different here. Oh yeah? The students and teachers here are of different races, religions, genders, sexual orientations, and abilities. It is very different from back home, where everyone was of the same two ethnicities. I have never seen so many different kinds of people before. Yeah, even at the airport on the way here, there were so many different kinds of people. They were all dressed so differently. Yes, I remember. Another thing that surprised me is that here, students do not usually wear uniforms at school. So I had to go shopping with my dad to get some clothes for both cold and warm weather. So now, I pick what I want to wear each day. Cool. They look nice. Where did you get them? At the second-hand store in town. They were not too expensive compared to some of the brand new clothes you will see in stores. Nice. Maybe you can show me the store. I will have to talk to my parents about getting clothes for school. What about the teachers? What are they like? The teachers are nice, but guess what? Here, students do not stand up when the teacher enters the room. And the teachers want us to raise our hand to ask them questions if we do not understand something. Remember at our old school, I used to be really good at memorizing facts? Well, here, students learn by asking questions, working in groups, and discussing ideas in class. Yes, I remember you were good at it. So, I am supposed to ask questions in class here? I am not sure if I can do that. I used to be embarrassed because I felt like I did not speak English very well, especially in the beginning. But I have improved a lot over the last two years since I have to speak English all the time. We also take French classes, but I am not so good at it yet. So, you have to study both English and French here? Well, this is an English school, so lessons are in English but we also take a French language class. Since Canada has two official languages, we all learn French as a second language too. Oh, I did not know that. You will be fine. I will help you. Oh, that reminds me. 
They also give us homework. What is homework? It is schoolwork that we have to do at home. So I had to go buy school supplies with my dad to complete my homework. Things like notebooks and binders. Oh, and we have computers here at the school that students can use. That is great to hear. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. Most students can type really fast and can finish their work quicker than me. Some of the students used to make fun of how slow I typed. And when we worked together on group assignments, I was always the last one to get picked. Not many of the students in my class liked me. Even though all the teachers said that students study and work together on assignments, regardless of gender, religion, cultural background, or ability, I know that my classmates still made fun of me behind my back. That sounds tough. It took me some time to make friends until I became better at English. In the beginning, other students would make fun of me in my wheelchair. One student would put my things on tall shelves so that I could not reach them. I tried to tell my father about it, but he told me not to complain and just do my best to integrate with the other kids. It was so frustrating. He would not listen. I wish you did not have to go through that. One week, we watched a video on bullying in class. I still have the paper explaining the different types of bullying. Here, look. It says here that bullying is a form of discrimination that happens at schools. It affects young people from all backgrounds and communities. There are different types of bullying. Different types of bullying? What are they? They are. Verbal bullying is calling someone names, threatening them, or gossiping about them. Emotional bullying, which is what my classmates did to me, is excluding someone by not letting them join a group or humiliating them in front of others. There is physical bullying, like hitting, poking, pinching, chasing, shoving, destroying, or stealing belongings, or unwanted sexual touching. And there is cyberbullying, which is using the internet, social media, or text messaging to intimidate, put down, spread rumors, or make fun of someone. And then on the back it says, students cannot harm each other or be harmed by school staff. There are serious consequences for anyone who purposely harms others in schools. And bullying in schools is an unfortunate reality. Schools across Canada are working to address this serious issue. If you or someone you know is experiencing bullying, speak to a trusted adult, teacher, school administrator, your government-funded organization, or sponsors. Have you spoken to anyone about it? Like your teacher or someone else? At first, I was afraid to say anything since I was so new here. I was scared that if I told an adult, I would get bullied even more. I told my dad, but he did not understand the problem. Eventually, I worked up the courage to speak to a teacher and things slowly got better. We had more workshops and assemblies on bullying and people started to treat me better. My English improved and I continued to make new friends. I can introduce you to them. They are really nice. Thanks, I appreciate it. I am glad that I will not be starting the school year alone. You are very brave for handling things the way you did. Thanks, it was difficult in the beginning but now I am excited to go to school. End of dialogue unit.